When people ask me, why do I go to church? The first thought that comes to my mind is that I have an opportunity to be with God in a place. Our church is a friendly, welcoming church with the congregation that extends open hearts and hands to not only our own members, but to anyone that has a need. I keep coming back to this church because it's a huge part of my support group. This church and its members have helped me through some of the most difficult times of my life. Also, to worship with other Christians keeps me focused on my own personal spiritual journey. I've always loved the Methodist Church. I love the ritual. I love the music. And I certainly have met a ton of wonderful people during my time in the church. My family started coming to this church way back at the time of my great-grandparents. Right now with our daughter and our grandchildren, we're on probably our sixth generation that has been in this church. It has just been home for all of us. I think our church is a good church because we all come together as one and pray and sing and do all this stuff together. And that's one of the reasons that keeps me coming back. Thinking about why we keep coming back to this church, I guess it's more so tradition. We were kind of used to coming to church and I think by coming to church it helps us to uh, stay on track with our Christianity and with our the way we live our lives. Right. I think it's a good refresher when we come on a Sunday to fire us up for the week. Um, I'm going to also talk about uh, serving God in the workplace. Um, as many of you know, I'm a teacher at, um, in the district here in Sheboygan Falls. And I was telling Karen today that um, there are some days that are a little more stressful than others. So I wear my cross on those days because it's going to be the same day every, every, like every Friday or every Thursday. And I wear my cross to remind me to be patient with children and to um, show that they're loved. Because some, some of our kids don't have that luxury that the parents give them that feeling. So it's just a reminder for me. I believe that I was called by God to be a public school educator and help the young people in my charge. I enjoyed that experience for 40 years and have no regrets. Also, I'm a hobby beekeeper, and uh, Mary Ann Debbing does the Valentine boxes uh, every, every February, and I donate uh, honey uh, for those, so that seems to... Oh, and there's a honey over. bottle on the Holy Grounds table, too. So. That's right, yes. <laughs> so that seems to go over, uh, go over well, mm -hmm. so I'm more than happy to do that. Mm -hmm. When you talk about serving God in your workplace, I think it just comes natural. I think that how you serve God in your workplace is how you act, what you say, and do you do what you say. I have a sign in my office that says, all great businesses have a foundation with God. And I believe that. Uh, I believe that in, in our company and we've been blessed to be there. And I, People ask me, how's business all the time? And my comment, and it has been good, but my comment is, God has blessed us. And, I, and I, it, it's not uncomfortable for me to say it. it. It's not a boastful thing to say, God has blessed us. God has blessed us. And uh, never take it for granted. So I, I think it's your witness on how you act and what you do in business. Um, it's, you know, and I believe that any successful business has God as the cornerstone. In the workplace, I think here at the church, what I try to do is um, serve God by being a cheerleader and an encourager. And not that I don't get down at times myself and need a little bit of that, we all do, but I really feel that what God calls me to is to 
let people know it's okay, they're doing good, that um, I'm here for them, and just be hopefully a place where people feel they can come and talk. Um, not just to unload and dump on me, but a place where they can get um, a perspective, um, um, maybe even some advice, um, maybe some ideas that they might be able to try, a different way of looking at things. I really believe I serve God the best uh, at the workplace here. If the budget was not an issue, one of the things that, one of the dreams that I have for the church is to have a completely integrated um, video and, and uh, music system, um, computer operated, every part of the church well, would be plugged into it, um, not only for our worship services, but to have community meetings and to, to have um, kind of a a go-to place in, in, in Sheboygan Falls where if you had a meeting that you had 40 or 50 people and you didn't have your own video system or something that you could come here and have your meeting here. Um, I, I think we need to, I would like to see this church reach out into the community and be more of a resource for the community rather than just a resource for the people that are in the church. Um, I also am interested in having an audiovisual system in our church. Um, as we could see on World Communion Sunday, how much of a difference um, seeing that video. It really um, added another dimension to our worship service. And I think it was very meaningful where we could actually see things that were happening in other churches. I am just one. I can make a difference. Together. Together we can serve. Together we can serve. To make a difference. A difference. A difference.